if I signed Do you guys understand it? What if I told you that from today, only 15% of the world would understand you? That your questions wouldn't get answered and that your statements wouldn't get listened to? The other 85% would know that you were different, but they wouldn't care enough to make you feel like you had a voice. And even if some started caring, they would say it was too much work or too difficult to create a way for you to communicate. This may sound absurd or ridiculous, but it's the reality for 1.5 billion people in the world right now. 1.5 billion speaking and hearing impaired that deserve to be understood. Hi, my name is Nora, and today I will talk about a topic that we do not talk about enough. And it's the importance of teaching children sign language for a more inclusive and accepting future. What first came into this topic was when my cousin Casper was born. He has a disability that causes him to not be able to articulate the words he wants to say, so he had to learn sign language to communicate with his friends, family, and teachers. He opened up a whole new perspective for me when it comes to inclusivity, especially inclusivity between children. So I will discuss the reality for many speaking and hearing impaired, and also what you can do from your communities to help with this issue. Three out of every 1,000 people born are born with a hearing disability. And there are around one million people just in Spain that are speaking or hearing impaired. And a big part of that is children. Children that aren't understood by their neighbors, by their teachers, or sometimes even family members. And all of that is because of one thing, that the person they're communicating with doesn't know sign language. Children like my cousin Casper deserve to be understood by everyone in their surroundings. And it breaks my heart that this isn't the reality right now. It always confused me as a child why we don't learn sign language in school. Sign language, apart from, for example, French or German, is used in every single country, since they're speaking and hearing impaired in every single country. And to show more clearly the lack of knowledge we have with sign language, I will ask all of you guys a question. So I would like you to raise your hand if you are bilingual. So if you know two or more languages, raise your hand. Look around you. That's pretty much everyone here. And now, I would like you to raise your hand if you know sign language. One person. If I was speaking and hearing impaired, I would only be able to communicate with one person here. Let that sink in. And an interesting fact to keep in mind with this is that there's actually more native sign language users than native French speakers and we still don't give sign language the attention it deserves. There are around 466 million people that use sign language as their only way of communication. 466 million people that could be understood by our future generations if we make this change. Something also worth mentioning is that speaking and hearing impaired are pressed daily. This is not only physical bullying or ignorant comments, but also things such as not being told what people are talking about or being treated as a burden when they ask for information that they don't get because of their disability. And to imagine this better, I would like you to imagine you were invited to a dinner. And when you get to this dinner, the table is filled with speaking and hearing impaired people. So they use sign language to communicate with each other. They are laughing, they're making jokes, they're having a great time. The only thing is that you don't know any sign language. So you sit there, you're confused, you feel left out, 
You're trying to pick out different things to understand, but you don't have a clue. So you turn to the person beside you and ask, so what are they signing about? And the person replies with, oh, it's not important, or I'll just tell you later. It's unfair. And it is the reality for speaking and hearing impaired all over the world. And it shouldn't be this way. We can change the future. We can create a future where children like my cousin Casper are understood by anyone in their surroundings, even if the person they're communicating with only knows a little bit of sign language. A little bit goes a long way, but we have to start practicing now. So it leads me to the big question. So what can I do from my community to help create this future? This is obviously a very big question to answer in just one TED Talk, but something that will bring the world a big step forward is by demanding sign language courses at your school. Sign language has just as many structures and accents as any other language, so we deserve to be taught our native sign language at our school. It could either be as an official class or as an optional course, but we have to make it happen. And if you've tried your best and you're not able to do this, take the initiative. There are plenty of resources online that can help you learn sign language. For example, I started learning sign language by looking at YouTube videos to understand my cousin better. Teaching children sign language isn't something that we should do. It is something that we must do to create an inclusive and accepting future for everyone. Let's be the change. Thank you.